Hello, boys and girls. My name is Miss Heidi, and thank you so much for joining me for Children's Liturgy of the Word. Today is the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Guess what? In today's gospel, Jesus does something really special. He talks about how children, children like you, were being left out. And then he invites children to come to him. We'll hear more about that later today. First, let's learn some signs for our gathering song. Let's remember how to sign the word love in American Sign Language. Make fists with both hands and cross them over your chest. Nicely done. Let's also remember how to sign Jesus. Put one finger in the middle of one hand and then switch. Your turn. Very good. Okay, we have a few more signs to learn today. Let's learn the word open. Take both hands and hold them flat like this. Then pretend you're opening your hands like doors. Let's do it again. Hands flatten together, then open. Well done. And lastly, let's sign the word heart. Take your tallest finger and tap it over your heart. Well done. We'll use these signs in our gathering song, which is called Love Like Jesus Did. Sing along with me. You gotta love like Jesus did. You gotta love like Jesus did. Come on and open your heart. You gotta play your part. Come on and love like Jesus did. Jesus showed us how to live, to reach out and to give, to welcome those that we don't know in love. You've got to love like Jesus did. Come on and open your heart. You've got to play your part. Come on and love like Jesus did. Jesus loved all those he met. He never did forget. All those frightened, hungry, or poor. God's love is there for all. You've got to love like Jesus did. You've got to love like Jesus did. Come on and open your heart. You've got to play your part. Come on and love like Jesus did. Jesus calls us all by name so we can do the same. To love each other every day as we follow Jesus' way. You've got to love like Jesus did. You've got to love like Jesus did. Come on and open your heart. You've got to play your part. Come on and love like Jesus did. You've got to love like Jesus did. You've got to love like Jesus did. Come on and open your heart. You've got to play your part. Come on and love like Jesus did. Come on and love like Jesus did. Come on and love like Jesus did. Excellent job singing, boys and girls. Let's look at our coloring page for this week. I see a girl sitting in a wheelchair and a girl waving hello. Let's read what it says at the top. Be a friend to people who feel left out. Jesus wants us to reach out and show kindness to anyone who is feeling left out because each and every person is important in the eyes of God. Let's light a candle to show that we are ready to hear God's word. In today's first reading, 
We'll hear what God did for Adam after noticing that Adam was feeling lonely in the Garden of Eden. Listen closely. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, It isn't good for Adam to be alone. I need to make the right kind of partner for him. The Lord then took some earth and made all the animals and birds. He brought them to Adam to see what names he would give to each of them. Adam named all the tame animals and all the birds and the wild animals. That's how they got their names. Not one of the animals was the right kind of partner for Adam. So the Lord God made him fall into a deep sleep, and he took out one of Adam's ribs. Then, after closing Adam's side, the Lord made a woman out of the rib. The Lord God brought her to Adam, and Adam shouted, Now here is someone like me. She is part of my body, my own flesh and bones. She came from me, a man, so I will name her woman. That's why a man will leave his own father and mother. He marries a woman, and the two of them become like one person. The word of the Lord. And we say together, thanks be to God. Your turn. Thanks be to God. Good job. Did you listen closely, boys and girls? Good. This reading is from the beginning of the Bible. And keep in mind that God had just created Adam. And when Adam was feeling sad and alone, what did God do for him? Well, first, God created some animals for Adam. That way, Adam could name the animals and take care of them. But was Adam still lonely? Go ahead and take a guess. Yes, he was. So what did God do then, boys and girls? Tell me if you know. Well, God created Eve to be his wife. And this made Adam happy. He wasn't sad anymore. This Bible story teaches us to be thankful for all the animals and people that God gave us to make our lives better. Now it's time for the responsorial psalm, which is a song that we'll sing together. Our words today are, May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Sing this with me the second time when I raise my hand. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. Your fields will produce, and you will be happy. All will go well. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. That is how the Lord will bless everyone who respects Him. I pray that the Lord will bless you from Zion and let Jerusalem prosper as long as you live. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Today's psalm reminds us of all the Lord's blessings. Now you might have heard that our psalm said, Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Did you get confused by this? Why would we be afraid of God? Well, fearing the Lord means having respect for God and understanding that He is so awesome and so wonderful. He is our Father, and He loves us like children, so we should love Him too. 
Now it is time to stand up and get ready for the gospel. Sing Alleluia with me when I raise my hand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. We come to praise the glory of your name. Gather to hear the word. In today's gospel, we'll hear what Jesus did when some disciples tried to keep a few children away from him. Let's listen. The Lord be with you. And we say together, and with your spirit. Your turn. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. And we say together, glory to you, O Lord. May Jesus be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. Some people brought their children to Jesus so that he could bless them by placing his hands on them. But his disciples told the people to stop bothering him. When Jesus saw this, he became angry and said, let the children come to me. Don't try to stop them. People who are like these children belong to the kingdom of God. I promise you that you cannot get into God's kingdom unless you accept it the way a child does. Then Jesus took the children in his arms and blessed them by placing his hands on them. The Gospel of the Lord. And we say together, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your turn. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well done. You may go ahead and sit down now, boys and girls. Let's talk about the Gospel reading we just heard. Some people were bringing children around Jesus so they could receive a blessing. But the disciples got upset. Jesus was too important and busy to bless little children, they thought. But what did Jesus say when the disciples tried to keep the children away from him? Go ahead and tell me. Well, he ordered the disciples to let the children come to him. He took the children into his arms then he reminded everyone of how important children are to God. Wow, boys and girls, can you feel the love God has for you right now after hearing this story? You are precious in his eyes. It's so wonderful to feel so loved. These stories also remind us that we should never leave anyone else feeling alone or left out because we want them to be loved and accepted too. I brought my friend Dottie to play a game with me today. Hi, Dottie. Hi, Miss Heidi. Okay, Dottie, today we're going to think of what Jesus would do in these situations. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. What do you think Jesus would do if a new family with children your age moves into the neighborhood? Oh, that's easy. He would welcome them. Yes, very good, Dottie. So should we welcome new people in our neighborhood too? Definitely, yes. Well done, Dottie. Okay, here's the next one. What would Jesus do if a boy was sitting alone during lunchtime at school? Hmm, I'll bet Jesus would ask to sit and eat lunch with that boy. I'll bet you're right, Dottie. So should you eat lunch with someone at school who seems sad? Yes, that would be the kind and loving thing to do. 
Excellent answer, Dottie. Okay, what would Jesus do if some kids were making fun of a girl during swim lessons for being afraid of the water? Hmm, what do you think, boys and girls? Oh, I heard someone say that Jesus would kindly tell the kids not to make fun of her because she's still learning how to swim. Very good. We can stand up for those who are being bullied, Dottie. Thanks so much for helping me today, Dottie. You're welcome, Miss Heidi. Boys and girls, Jesus wants us to treat everyone with respect. Let's remember to be caring and to reach out to those who might feel excluded or left out. Let's say, Jesus, help me to be a friend to those who feel left out. Your turn. Jesus, help me to be a friend to those who feel left out. Well done. Now we get to sing a song to say what we believe in, to profess our faith. Your part will be, yes, Lord, I believe. Sing along with me. Do you believe in God the Father? Yes, Lord, I believe. Who made the earth and all we see? Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, Lord, I believe. Conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father, I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe, I do believe. Do you believe that Jesus died? Yes, Lord, I believe. He died for us so we could live. Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe he rose again? Yes, Lord, I believe. He's seated now at God's right hand. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe, I do believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Yes, Lord, I believe. The Catholic Church and communion of saints? Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in God's forgiveness? Yes, Lord, I believe That we will rise to life again Yes, Lord, I believe I believe in God the Father I believe in God the Son I believe in the Holy Spirit And the strength that makes us one I believe that Mother Mary Is the mother of God's Son I believe I do believe This is our faith which we profess Yes, Lord, I believe I believe in God the Father I believe in God the Son I believe in the Holy Spirit And the strength that makes us one I believe that Mother Mary Is the mother of God's Son I believe I do believe I believe, I do believe. Now it's time for the prayer of the faithful, where we bring our prayers to God. As God's own children, called to care for everyone in the family of God, let us pray for the good of all people around the world. After each petition, please sing, Lord, hear our prayer for our church, that it will be a welcoming place for the sad and the lonely. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That countries will be welcoming to all strangers and newcomers. We pray 
to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves and our families, that we will notice and take action whenever we see someone feeling sad or lonely. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the grace to see every human as a child of God, no matter their skin color, language, culture, or stage of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Now it is our turn to bring our prayers to God, either out loud or in our hearts. Let's fold our hands. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, your son Jesus welcomed the little children, even when his disciples thought he shouldn't use any of his time or energy on them. May we always show a welcoming attitude towards others especially those who are considered unimportant. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Can you say that? Amen. Well done. This ends today's Children's Liturgy, boys and girls. But don't worry, there's still more you can do now to proclaim the good news of Jesus. Use the link below to download the Be a Friend coloring page. Thank you for sending in your beautiful artwork to us. We'll show your coloring pages at the end of this week or next week's episode. If your parents would like to share your weekly coloring pages or freehand faith-based drawings, have them take a picture of your drawing and email it to kidsliturgy2020 at gmail.com by Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. We'll show your artwork on an upcoming episode. Did you know that Miss Heidi uses the Flom Children Celebrate Leader's Guide to help script each episode? To order the Children Celebrate Liturgy of the Word with Children program, the new 2021 to 2022 Sunday Missal for Young Catholics, or the Flom Gospel Weekly's Faith Formation program for your home, parish, or school, visit BayardFaithResources.com. Get 15% off by using promo code Miss Heidi. Looking for a great resource to help your little ones learn the foundational prayers of our Catholic faith? Order the Let's Sing, Let's Pray CD from the talented Catholic composer John Berland by visiting BayardFaithResources.com. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for listening to God's Word with me today. Stay well, God bless you, and remember that Jesus loves you. God's love is bigger than the biggest mountain, deeper than the deepest sea, taller than the tallest tree. It's there for you and me. God's love is stronger than the strongest person, brighter than the brightest star, warmer than the warmest day. God's love is in my heart because God loves me. God loves me. Clap your hands in the air, reach up and touch the sky. Put your hands on your heart, love is all around. God's love is bigger than the biggest mountain, deeper than the deepest sea, taller than the tallest tree. It's there for you and me. God's love is stronger than the strongest person, brighter than the brightest star. Warmer than the warmest day, God's love is in my heart Because God loves me, God loves me Wave your arms in the air, and now put your hands on your head Give yourself a big hug, love is all around God's love is bigger than the biggest mountain 
Deeper than the deepest sea Taller than the tallest tree It's there for you and me God's love is Stronger than the strongest person Brighter than the brightest star Warmer than the warmest day God's love is in my heart Because God loves me God loves me God loves me you 